Good afternoon, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel where I'm going to be doing a Chelsea versus Liverpool preview. Now obviously we know all about these two, uh, there have been some classic matches throughout the years. Um, remember that ghost goal at Anfield, oh yes, everyone remember it. There's also been, uh, there's also 4-4 in the Champions League as well. Um, yeah. Chelsea and Liverpool, it's been one of those big, big fixtures over the years in the Premier League and it's no exception for this one, obviously Frank Lampard comes up against Jurgen Klopp uh, this is only the uh, second time they'll lovely have met uh, because obviously Liverpool and Chelsea have already met this season and it was in the uh, European Super Cup where Liverpool won that on penalties but Chelsea can feel hard done by considering that they were probably the better team in that game. So it's going to be it's going to be a very very intriguing uh, encounter this one. Um so obviously both sides obviously coming off the back of defeats in the Champions League, obviously Liverpool losing to Napoli, uh Chelsea losing surprisingly to Valencia as well. Obviously Ross Barkley missing a penalty as well. So it's going to be it's going to be a very very Interesting, uh, interesting game this one, and uh, especially. Um, let's start with Chelsea, because obviously a lot has been said about their transfer ban, uh, but it really hasn't affected them. Has to be said. Um, obviously, they've not got any clean sheets this season so far, but they are still scoring goals, and most of their goals have been scored by Englishmen. Actually, I'll say that again. Every goal in the Premier League this season has been scored by an Englishman for Chelsea. So that's obviously got to say something there. Um, you know, obviously Mason Mount, he's been absolutely outstanding. be interesting to see if he makes it, though. He was clattered by Francis Coquelin uh, on uh, on Wednesday. Uh, so be interesting... Uh, uh, Tuesday, sorry. So be interesting to see if he makes it. I think he is rated about 50-50. So be Another another interesting uh, one there. Tam Abraham. Obviously, we know about his missed penalty in the Super Cup. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, he, he was the one that missed that, 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 that spot kick. But since then, he's been firing on all thunders, you know. So this is two against uh, Sheffield United. Um, a hat-trick against Wolves in the last game. Um, and... It was two for uh, two against Norwich as well. So he's been playing very, very well, and you know he seems to be first choice striker for Chelsea ahead of uh, Olivier Giroud and Michy Batshuayi. Um, so obviously Chelsea's results have been well mixed, I would say. Obviously losing four 0 to Manchester United in the first game, but they were but they were the better team in that game. They were the better team in that game. So you know, you know. It, Chelsea have st have slowly got to grips with it with, the, with their season. Then it was a one one draw with Leicester City. Uh, Mason Mount scoring in that game uh, as well. Um, he's he's been very very good this season uh, so far. Uh, and then obviously they did they didn't uh, hold out for that one. Uh, Three two against Norwich, like I've said. Uh, Tammy Abraham scoring two and Mason Mount scoring again. So he's he, you know he's. He's he has definitely started the season a lot lot better than uh, than the other strikers at Chelsea definitely, um, and then obviously two two against Sheffield United, Tammy Abraham again with two goals in that game as well, so you know you know where this is going as well, and then they you know two 0 up you, you know they should really they should really uh, close that that uh, that game out, but they didn't, and obviously Sheffield United get the point for that one, and then obviously five two against Wolves uh, Tamori. Mount and an Abraham hat trick. So, like I've said, all their scorers this season have been English. So that has to be something that can really buoy on uh, Chelsea, and especially especially their fans as well. So, obviously, Chelsea sit, sit in sixth with winning two, drawing one, and losing one. Um, and they're, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a very very interesting game. Um, team news, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Obviously, Mason Mount is the main worry for Chelsea. Will he make it? That would be another another story. Um, I believe Kante will miss this game. Uh, he seems to be still injured, so you know he he's, he has been a bit of a miss for Chelsea, has to be said. But 
Um, like I said, uh, they they still they still have uh, some very good players. Obviously, Pulisic coming in, uh, that was that was a January um, signing. So obviously he came in. They obviously still got Kovacic as well. Um, so you know, Chelsea are are really starting to be that team again, and they're they are playing a lot lot better. And has this transfer ban affected them? You wouldn't say so far. You wouldn't say so far. I know they haven't kept a clean sheet, but I'm pretty sure that will come very, very soon. Uh, but just let's hope it's not this weekend. Um, Liverpool, obviously, losing to Napoli uh, the last time out, uh, the last time out, and then obviously uh, winning against Newcastle uh, last uh, last game as well. Uh, as far as they're concerned, obviously, um, Jurgen Klopp has said that Naby Keita has returned to full training. So is he like? Could he make the bench against Chelsea? That would be very interesting. I don't want him rushed back though. That's that's a main thing I've been saying for a wee while. Is don't rush Naby Keita back. Um, Diva Corrigi is a doubt. Uh, so there's still no confirmation if he's out or he will make it. Um, so it'll be be interesting. Be interesting to see if he does make it. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if Ryan Brewster. Uh, gets an appearance on the bench for the first time um, this season uh, as well because obviously he didn't make the bench the last last week so against Napoli which I which I thought he would so that there there we go there we go so as far as head to head comparisons now I said this in my Premier League preview for this week Chelsea and Liverpool the head to head record is level so they're in twenty wins apiece for Chelsea and Liverpool. 14 at home, 6 away, and there's been 14 draws. So they've played 54 times, and Chelsea and Liverpool are head-to-head on uh, the uh, Premier League. So that's pretty good going. Um, that is pretty, pretty good going. So it is it is going to be an interesting game, and it'll be interesting to see what, uh, what the score is going to be. So, match uh, lineup. Um... I think Jurgen Klopp will probably keep the sort of this. I would say similar team, maybe maybe a couple of changes in the midfield um, as usual. Um, so I'm going to go for Adrian and go. I'm going to go for Alexander Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk, Robertson, uh, Fabinho, Van Eldum, Henderson, and then Mane, Salah, Firmino. That would be my team, and then obviously your bench would be Kelleher, uh, Gomez. Um, Shakiri, Ox, Lalana, Origi, if he makes it, but I think Brewster will probably be uh, be on the bench and uh, Milner, Milner. So yeah, so it's I think this is going to be a very very interesting game, especially with Chelsea having a one at home this season so far. Um, I I really really do worry about going to Stamford Bridge. I don't won't lie because. Stamford Bridge has been a bit of a it has been a bit of a bogey ground for Liverpool, but not recent years, not recent years. Uh, but re- um, obviously before that, uh, you know, uh, Chelsea and Chelsea and Liverpool have had some really classic encounters, and I think this will be no exception. Um, so, how do I expect to see it? I think Chelsea. I think Tam Abraham will definitely have a say in this game. I think he will probably score. Um, I do think though that the the form will be in Liverpool's favour. Um, I do think though we will concede. I do I do see us conceding at Stamford Bridge. Um, and if Ma- if Mason Mount doesn't make it, then you know you've obviously got Pulisic, you've got Pedro, you've got Willian as well, you've got Barkley. Uh, yeah, Barkley would like to do one on uh, Liverpool, wouldn't he? So. Yeah, as far as this game is going, I think the midfield battle will be key, I think. Uh, obviously, both defences are pretty good. Um, obviously, Chelsea's Chelsea's are a bit weak at the moment, but they will get clean sheets. They will get clean sheets as soon as possible. I'm just not sh- It's not going to be this weekend. Um, but then it might. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, been long before, so it'll be, be interesting to, uh, to see. Um, I would expect them to start with obviously Kepa in goal, then probably Aspilicueta, Tamori after his wonder goal at the, at the weekend at Wolves, um, and 
then it's a question mark. Does Zuma come back in or does Rudiger keep his place? I think Rudiger probably keeps his place. I suppose that you could probably bring Christensen in as well. Um, and then obviously left back will definitely be... Is it Marcus Alonso? Because I believe Emerson might be injured. Um, so then it's a question in midfield. Obviously, you would expect Jorginho to start. I think Barkley will probably start. Ben, it's a question. Who, who does play in that Lee wee pocket? Uh, will it be Mason Mount? Or will it be Pedro? That's another matter. That's another. Uh, that's another matter for for them to to worry about. But I think, I think if Mason Mount makes it, then I do expect him to start. Uh, so yeah, let let me know what your um, starting eleven is for um, for Liverpool in this game, and also let me know what your prediction is. My score prediction. I think it will be a very, very tight game. I do think it will be very, very good uh, good game uh, football. I really hope VAR doesn't ruin it because obviously we did see uh, we did see obviously VAR sort of uh, come into play again over the over the Champions League. Um, yeah, it's I'm not a fan of it. I think I think I've said this already. I'm not a fan of VAR. So you know it's going to be. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, VAR does come into play. Michael Oliver is the referee for this game uh, as well. So, yeah. Um, also, one stat that is a bit worrying. Jurgen Klopp has only won once out of the last six against top... Is, is it once in the last... No, once in the last 12 games against the top six away from home. And I do believe that was Tottenham. So, yeah. it's a bit. It, that is a bit of a worry. That is a bit of a worry. But... You know, this Liverpool team is definitely getting a lot, lot better. And um, obviously, they are under a massive amount of pressure. Obviously, the City losing last week. They obviously go into this game five points clear, but it could be two points by the time uh, Manchester City have played Watford. Because you would probably expect Manchester City to beat Watford. So, I fully expect Liverpool to, uh, to win this game. Going for the 2-1, I think Tammy Abraham will probably score for Chelsea. Um... Mohamed Salah hasn't scored at Stamford Bridge on his return yet. I would fancy him to score, although he doesn't seem to play very well against Chelsea, I've noticed. Uh, so that, that is a bit of a worry. And I'll go for Sadio Mane. I'll go for Sadio Mane to um, score as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going, going for a 2-1 win to, uh, to Liverpool. And it uh, be very, very interesting to see. This is obviously live on Sky Sports. At half past four, um, that's when it kicks off. The coverage starts at four p.m. If you want to watch, if you want to watch that coverage, then it's entirely up to you. But, but yes, it'll be very, very interesting game. And um, obviously, this is the last, uh, the last game on Super Sunday. So, yeah, it'll be. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I won't lie. And then obviously we've got Carabao Cup action of the week uh, in the midweek as well. So. So that is it. That is my match preview for uh, Liverpool, Chelsea against Liverpool. Um, let me know your starting eleven in the comment section below. Also, your prediction for this game. Uh, will Chelsea end Liverpool's 100% winning run at this moment in time? Um, more and more questions. Will Liverpool continue their run? Uh, and who comes out on top? Does Lampard come out on top? Uh, or does Jurgen Klopp come out on top? And also... Does um, do Chelsea get revenge over that Super Cup penalty shootout? Be interesting to see. But thank you very much for watching this uh, this uh, match preview. Um, just just a very very quick thing to say that Carabao Cup predictions will be coming to this channel. Yes, so I will be doing that um, probably Monday. I would say probably Monday. Um, because obviously the, the games kick off on Tuesday, so I will definitely do that. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, this video. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit a like, share, or whatever you want to do. And um, I'll be back very soon with some more, more videos. Uh, Monday for my Caribbean Cup predictions, so that should be, that should be up uh, on Monday. But uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll be back very, very soon with some more videos. And um, come on, Liverpool. Let's go and beat. Let's go and beat the Blues at Chelsea. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you. Later.